Hello and welcome to this RoboDeck Designer video. I'm Paul and this video here is all about understanding bracing for a deck in the easiest way possible. So with NZS 3604, that's um, a main document for the building code for decks in New Zealand. This sets out a lot of instructions how to brace a deck but it's actually quite difficult to understand. Some sections are not relevant for decks, some sections are actually very specific. And the aim of this video here is just make things as clear as possible to understand how to brace a deck. The wind bracing design calculations are not considered in deck design as the earthquake bracing demands will always be much higher. With bracing demands, first of all you need to work out your bracing requirements. So once you've actually done this, then you need to work out how this can actually be achieved using a foundation wall brace poles and anchor poles. With bracing for a deck everything is measured in bracing units or BUs. With drawing prepared using RoboDeck Designer all these calculations are prepared automatically so the information is on the drawing you don't need to worry about a thing. To gain a basic understanding of bracing for a deck on the RoboDeck Designer website there's a bracing calculator which um, not only shows you how much bracing is required it will show you how this can actually be achieved and it's a good understanding of bracing for a deck. One thing I do need to mention that bracing is only required for a deck if your deck extends more than two meters away from your house. So to get into the bracing calculator you can either use the link in this video just before or you can go to the top menu. Now we've got a simple deck here 6 meters by 3.6 meters but um, the area of the deck is an important thing so if you want a different shaped deck you can just have any dimensions in there as long as it actually equals the area of your deck so we're also going to have an earthquake zone too and these can be found from NCDS 3604 the different zones there and we're also going to have a shallow rock, a shallow soil, sorry, um, as well for our calculations. So just clicked on the submit button there, and this has come up with the bracing and both a longitudinal and a cross direction. And you can see the different bracing lines there. There's the M line, which is in the longitudinal direction, and the ABC lines, which is in the across direction and some information there on how many bracing units required and how this can actually be achieved. So we just wait for the next part. So this is here how your, your deck could be braced. So it could be used using anchor piles, two anchor piles um, on the left and right of the image on the left hand side or brace piles. And here is just details here on the two different types of uh, bracing you can have anchor poles or brace poles on the right hand side. So if we go back to our original web page here, uh, the bracing calculator, there's more information on bracing down the bottom of the web page there. Um, just using actually a real example without using a calculator and it's something you can just follow just to get a a stronger idea on the bracing on this website. Thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you next video and also don't forget to subscribe to the Robodeck Designer YouTube channel. Thank you.